Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your support. I want to say hello to all of my current tastemakers. And if you're new here, you're just dropping by on the video. Hello and welcome. And at the end of this video, if you like my vibe, I welcome you to subscribe and join the Tastemakers tribe. And hit the like button if you like the video. If you have any comments, uh, place those down in the comments section, okay? And I read all comments and I reply to all comments. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for the video. Hey guys, hey tastemakers, Tanya here. In today's video, I want to share with you my freezer clean out meal. Everything came from the freezer and I'm gonna make, and so after I pulled everything out, I looked at what I had, I'm like, I can make a nice low carb jambalaya. Now these are everything I had in my freezer. I keep these little mini peppers in the freezer. They're fine there. If you can't eat them all up when they're fresh, throw them in the freezer. Throw some celery here, need to finish that up. I have some scallions. I have these Italian sausages that I cooked up and didn't eat all, all of them and I put them in the freezer. Here are some green bell peppers, onion, white onion, got some more scallions over here. I have a, one packet of rice cauliflower left and then I steamed these chickpeas about a month ago. So I'm going to put all of this, and you know, I do have a, a frozen bag of okra. I might put that in. I don't know. I don't know. But so this is everything. Oh, and then I forgot to show you guys that I'm those frozen. I have some frozen chicken strips. And so I'm um, defrosting those and cooking those in the, on the stove. So I'm going to, when those are done, Gonna chop that up, chop these sausages up, dice everything up, and we're gonna make a jambalaya, okay? Okay, I'm chopping up the sausage now. I've chopped all the veggies, the onions, celery, peppers, scallions, and I put maybe like a quarter cup of my steamed chickpeas, put those there. They're ready to go. Chop up this sausage. I had two links left. All of that, I put the uh, rice cauliflower in the microwave to get it softened. So let's go on over to the stove. Chicken strips are done. Take them out so they can cool. Washing out 
I'm gonna put maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. I don't know if you caught that guys, a tablespoon of olive oil. I just decided to turn the camera on as I was making this, cause I think it could be it can be helpful for someone else. If you wanna clean out some stuff and really make a nice cohesive meal. That, so that's why I said, let me uh, just turn the camera on. And share this with the family. And I'm about to work out, so I am not fit for TV. But my content is okay, I'm gonna saute everything. These didn't cut all the way through. I was using my bad knife. Sometimes you just have to get through the prep process. And just get it done. Okay, so I'm gonna let this saute for about five minutes. Everything's heated through. And then I'm gonna add, then I'll add the rice cauliflower and the chopped meat. And let everything simmer together. Let everything blend together. Now season it. Now to me, rice cauliflower, I like it. I like rice cauliflower in recipes. If I'm gonna do like a Chinese stir fry, rice cauliflower is good if you're gonna make like a fried rice, a fried cauliflower rice. And soy sauce really gives it a nice flavor. So if I put soy sauce on my cauliflower rice, it's fine. It's, it'll be regular rice to me any day. Chinese flavors, or like in a, a recipe like this, you have a lot of veggies and everything, and I'm gonna put soy sauce, like in a, an original jambalaya, like in New Orleans and stuff, they will put Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, I'll put all that into this as well but the soy sauce kicks it up. And I'll be light with it because I am like watching blood pressure. Break these up. Right, let that go and I'll come back. Okay, the veggies are cooked. You got a little caramelization on them. That's what I wanted. I wanted to stir fry these. And I put a splash, I'm gonna put a splash of soy sauce on them. 
That's the only salt I'm going to use in this dish. I'm going to be very sparingly with it. Okay, now here's the rice cauliflower. I put that in the, micro, the microwave for five minutes. It all came out. Make sure. Now, when I make like a cauliflower fried rice, fried, I say fried rice when I'm talking to my husband. I say, I got some fried rice. But then when I uh, make a cauliflower fried rice, he loves it. Because, you know, the soy sauce, one thing about cauliflower, it will take on any flavor. I washed off that spatula. I'm not trying to have a whole bunch of dishes out. I love chickpeas. They make a good addition to, uh, if you want to, so you can just stop here. This is vegan. This is vegan and vegetarian. Veg Stop right here. You've got your protein. Here's your chickpeas. I put used olive oil. Okay. But I'm using up stuff from the fridge. Okay, so here's the diced Italian sausages and here's the uh, chicken. Here's my vegetable stock. This is my homemade veggie stock. I use, you know, the, the color comes from the onion skins. So I'm going to... This is an awesome vegan meal. You know, my, you know, if you don't use the meat like I did. Instead of using a, like a regular um, jambalaya uses like a tomato product, I'm using this garlic chili sauce. This is a favorite of mine. It gives it a good flavor and it will give it nice color as well. Just two tablespoons. Let me taste it. Yeah. 
y'all. That flavor is excellent. So I'm gonna let it simmer. Make sure everything's make sure everything's up to temp. And I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, it's all done. I let it simmer for about 10 minutes. That's my jambalaya, and I eat a lot of that. The flavor is wonderful. It has more of the, it has soy sauce and garlic chili paste instead of tomato. I'm gonna garnish it with scallions. Perfect, guys. So I will have three to four more servings of this. Just cleaned out my freezer. Didn't let anything go to waste. It's good, it's healthy, and this is my br brunch. I have it with some water. And then I'll go on and work out for about 45 minutes. And my workout is dancing. I turn on music and I dance. And it cures dancing and moving and exer exercises medicine. And that for me, that cures stuff for me more than any pills. Moving getting that body going okay so that is my low carb sausage and chicken jambalaya and i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today and i appreciate your support if you like my vibe hit subscribe like, comment, share, and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload any new content. Thank you so much, and bye, Mom. See you in my next video.